Woo! Check it out, baby. Mako shark. Shark on. You're watching the number one adventure show, Hooked on Utah, powered by Ford. Welcome to Hooked on Utah. Today, one of the coolest adventures we've ever participated in. We're here with Mark Martin, San Diego saltwater fly fishing. We're gonna go chase Makos. Yep, we're gonna hook them too. Hook them, chase them, maybe some blue sharks. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this adventure. shark showing up. So now, now that we're out here, we're working on a certain area. Okay, so I, found, I know the water I want to concentrate on. Now we're going to let the drift and the current move us to wherever it's going to take us. Okay, and we're going to run a big long um, trail of scent behind the boat. Ideally the shark's going to pick up on it, come find us. What did we use for, uh, for scent for most people who are unfamiliar with shark fishing? You know, when it comes to chumming, basically we're using local fish. We're using mackerel, we're using uh, sardine and we're using anchovy, you know, the local bait fish that are around here. Something for them to pick up on. We do add some fish oils and a couple of the recipes that uh, we'll keep, keep anonymous right now. We're use a little bit of commotion, we're going to use a little bit of scent, um, we're going to use a little bit of luck, we're going to use a little bit of knowledge and we're going to get these sharks here. We're running 30 pound mono, okay, I'm running it to a swivel with a haywire twist, single strand bite wire. Um, this has a breaking strength of 105 pounds. That's a stiff rod, man. To load it takes a lot of effort. Kind of get it tight. Oh. <laughs> All right, important safety tip. You do not want to hit yourself in the head with a five-aught shark hook and a fly, okay? Nine-aught, nine-aught. Nine-aught hook, holy cow. Strip, 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 strip. He ain't set. Perfect. You see how those bait fish are hugging them for safety? Set. To the left, to the left. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Talk about an adrenaline rush. I mean, this is incredible. Strip set. Strip set. Don't strip don't set. Don't move set. the rod. If you do that again, I'm gonna smack it on the knuckles <laughs> of the ruler. Make him want it. He set. You got him. Fish you got on, him. shark on, you baby. You got him. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, I got I got line around me. Oh, there we go. Whew. Get ready. He's gonna jump. Go ahead, drop on, drop baby. down to the left. Drop your angle down to the left, other left. We've worked all day long for another shot at a shark. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Woo! Check it out, come baby. Come on, baby, hit another one. Make a shark. Shark on. He is lit. Oh, you gotta love it, dude. Came all the way to the boat. We've been chumming. Got a nice Mako out here. This is why you fish with Mark Martin. I'm telling you what. Oh! <laughs> Mako shark, baby. This is it right here. If you want to rock, this is it. Drop left, drop left. You want to keep that pressure on his cheek. Oh! Your hand got caught. Your hand got caught. <sighs> Thank you. 
Hooked on Utah is proudly presented by Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter located throughout Utah. Mountain America Credit Union, supporting your home, your business, your life. The Ready Project, live life ready at home and in the outdoors. Goal Zero, renewable energy solutions anywhere. Academy Mortgage, the number one independent purchase lender. Big O Tires, the team you trust on and off our western roads. Get the dream car and the dream rate. Right now at Mountain America, auto loan rates are as low as 2.74 APR for both new and used vehicles. Apply for your auto loan today at the nearest Mountain America branch or online at macu.com. It doesn't matter what sort of adventure you're after. Whether it's big game deep in the backcountry, a day of fishing out on the water, or an overnight in the great outdoors. At Sportsman's Warehouse, we've got the gear in here for what you need out there. Gear up for your adventure at one of over 45 locations. Or shop online. Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Have you ever had a dead cell phone? Yes, I have. And does it suck? It sucks a lot. What kind of phone do you have? iPhone. It's an HTC Desire. Mine's an Android. A Droid X. What we got here is a solar panel. Charge your phone as fast as a wall. Charging? What? Charging. <laughs> You're charging, man. Pretty quick, huh? Sweet. Wow. See that? Is this life changing? It is life changing. Yes. The Summer Kickoff Sales Event is on now at your local Ford stores. Now get 0 for 60 plus up to 3,000 cash back or up to 9250 total savings. But hurry, it all ends soon. Hi, come see me, Big Bill Snape at Kimgar Ford and American Ford. The gear we use this week on our saltwater adventure can be found right here at Sportsman's Warehouse. When you're on the ocean, you want to be sneaky and stealthy. I love this Columbia fishing camo going after big sharks. When you head out on the ocean, you're going to want a good pair of sunglasses and polarization is key. Sportsman's Warehouse has tons to choose from. When you head out on an adventure like we did on the ocean, you should take something like a spot transponder. If you have trouble, push the button, they'll find you. Safety is first. Make sure you have a great PFD, and I choose one of these, a Mustang or these small style with a self-inflation when they get wet. To stay dry from the ocean spray, choose one of Sportsman's Warehouse various rain gears. I love the frog togs. five to six mile long chum slick right now. You know, if there's one just now hitting it back three miles from here, you know, that can still take him, you know, an hour if he's taking his time. He made kind of his, his big here turn. Strip the fly. Set. To the right, to the right, be careful holding him too much. You got him, you Shark got him. <laughs> Yep, work your way up, work your way up. Drop to the left. Oh, yeah, there you go. Left side, left side. Jam him in that cheek. You got him, you got him. All right, shark on, baby. All right, I'm gonna try not to force this guy. Oh, look at this big one. Oh, we got another oh. shark at the boat. We got two sharks at the boat. <laughs> Woo! I'm telling you what, dude, fishing with Mark. We've got two Makos at the boat. I've got a Mako on. Mark? We got another one at the boat, waiting his we turn. We got another one right here, Lit Big up. Mako. Lit up. This is not the time to slip and fall in. You know, last time my thumb got caught up in the reel, and uh, it was just enough to apply way too much pressure, pop, there went the line. Oh my gosh, you know what, I've salmon fished, I've halibut fished. This, I've gone out after other game fish. This has been the most exciting thing I've ever done. Mark Martin. San Diego saltwaterflyfishing.com. This is a different one. Look at the size Look of that Look at the beast. size of him. Look at that beast. We've got three Makos at the boat. 
This shark has decided he's leaving town. Look at that. There's another mako. Look at this guy right here in the water. Look at that. This could be your shark, you guys, right there, right up on the boat. He and I are at a standstill. I'm trying not to put too much pressure. There's a lot of pressure on the drag right now. As soon as I say that, he's taking it to me again. Chances are I'm not going to land this shark. I'm going to be honest. He's so far out there now, but we'll see. You're in for the fight of your life on some of these sharks. Is this your biggest fish on a fly rod, Gary? <laughs> he asks. Yeah, this is my biggest. Dang it! This sucks! This is starting to piss me off. I just really been 10 feet and he just took out 60 yards. This is like trying to reel a car in through mud. I actually spotted the shark. I casted the fly, I strip set, I hooked the shark, and I'm fighting the shark. And that's what's so cool about this. This has been an amazing fight. My arm is so gone, I can barely even move it. I can't even straighten my, straighten my right arm out. Slowly try and unwrap them here. He is still wrapped. You can see that fly up there, folks. That slides up the line, so the hook's in the corner of his mouth. And, uh... Ready? Go ahead. So the hook's in the corner of his mouth. There's your Mako shark. That was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. Seriously, from an outdoor perspective. I mean, that's a huge animal. Feel him. Feel that oh, sandpaper. Oh my gosh. That's amazing, dude. Look at that. It's that cut we saw earlier. Yeah, look, look at, at that. Look at that. Those are teeth, dude. Look at these teeth marks. It looks like like these were the jaws of something else. Look, this guy's been in some kind of little well, skirmish over skirmish. something. Okay, here goes our release, folks. Let him swim another day. Boom! Look at that. There he goes. He is out of here. Oh, he's on it. Get that, set, set. Left, left, left. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> Morning of day two on our Mako on the fly. We're setting up all the chum. We're doing what he calls a, a, a little power chum at first. We get the chum slick going. Today we're gonna see uh, Mr. Paul Swint and maybe even Marky Mark throw a fly at a couple of big old uh, Makos before I take over. Always on it. Get set, set, set. Left, left, left. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> Whoa. Way back in there, right to the left of him. Beautiful. Gosh, how'd that pop out of his cheek like that? Strips. He's on it. <laughs> left, left, left. In the cheek, in the cheek. Jam him. Give him a jam with the rod. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. You got him. Get to your reel. Oh, he's coming out of the water. So the little dude, he is just... Pulling. So Mark was running a little orange teaser out there out the back and the shark came up and swirled on him. That's how we, we noticed he was here. Hey buddy. Oh he's beautiful. Look at that dragon right. That is amazing. Watch oh, the rod shoot. Trip. It's okay, just leave it, leave it. Just drag over here. Woo! First shark <laughs> to the boat. <laughs> Release, beautiful shark, good size, perfect fly rod size. That was awesome. Twelve weight rod that fish. Was awesome. Hooked in the cheek, rod in like a champ. Yes. Beautiful, man. beautiful. That was fun. Holy cow! I can't even tell you how much fun that was. So we've got a mako out here, and he's. Uh, he really wants the teaser, so it's a big floaty popper with mirrors on it. So we're just gonna play a little cat and mouse with the fly and the teaser and see if we can't uh, can't trick him. He's on. He's on. All right, good, good. Get that pressure. He's still chasing the teaser. Oh. 
Oh, lay it back out. Right there, drop it. So he went, grabbed it. It's so hard to get them hook set because it's not in the corner of their mouth. If you don't get them in the flesh, you're not gonna get them. You know, what people love about fly fishing and let's say bass fishing in top water in particular is it's visual. This is about as visual and as exciting as it gets. I mean, every time we get a shark out here, we're seeing the sharks. We're targeting him with the fly. We're teasing him with the teaser. And we're watching him every single time I'm seeing the shark take that fly. Turn on it, come up, take it, just like a great big German brownwood with a streamer. And that's freaking exciting. Oh, he's on it. He ate it. Good job, Gary. Good job. Keep low angle. There you go. Boy, this other one is a good size shark. Okay, why don't you give me some jams? You're in the corner. Jam them. There you go. There you go. Okay, get to your reel. All right. Let go of the fly line. Hits that, it's, a, it's the smaller of the two, but still, look at this Mako. He, he doesn't even know he's hooked yet. Right he doesn't. Corner of the mouth, Gary. Doesn't even know he's hooked yet. Should I just release him? Actually, I think you should lift him out of the water. Look at this, this is a cool little Mako. Take a look at that, folks. That's a beautiful Mako shark. We'll probably just release this little one because there's a big bruiser hanging around the boat right now. This is probably our easiest catch right here. But we're gonna go after this great big one that's right back here behind the boat. Still back behind the boat. There's somebody behind the camera that wants to get the rod from me. And it's not gonna happen. <laughs> you guys had something on your face. <laughs> oh, that, there's that big one. There he is. Ooh, he's huge. What I love is Mark is ever vigilant. He's looking behind the boat for the next shark. <laughs> For a limited time, buy four Big O' Brand tires and get two Lagoon all-day passports. One more reason to buy those Big o get the dream car and the dream rate. Right now at Mountain America, auto loan rates are as low as 2.74 APR for both new and used vehicles. Apply for your auto loan today at the nearest Mountain America branch or online at macu.com. Now, get an additional 1,000 matching down bonus cash for up to 8,000 total savings, or 0 for 60 plus 750 trade assistance on F-150. Utah Sportsman Properties offers premier adventure estates with exclusive fishing and hunting access in the most scenic locations here in Utah and beyond. Utah Sportsman Properties has the ultimate destination for your next family business venture. Most gun makers just add a new feature to improve performance. Every component of the Browning X-Bolt works together to deliver the most crucial feature Total accuracy. The Browning X-Bolt, an all-new rifle system designed for total accuracy. Ronnie, eat it! Eat it! Left! Yes! Let him get the reel, get the reel, get the reel, get the reel. There you go, dude, there you go. All right, make go on. Coming back. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Is he coming at me or not? Yeah, he's coming at you. Holy cow. Where'd he come off? Yeah, that's a big boy. He ate it. 
Right, 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 right. Get, get him. Good. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Like that. Like that. Look at that thing. Sorry. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Nickel fish in San Diego. Yeah. What we do, good job, Paul. Oh. You handled that fish good. That was awesome. Let me get this plate. I don't know if it can get better than that. Let's turn it. So that we don't need to let Paul fish this next one? I think we need to get you a shark to the boat. Set! Swim away, dude. Swim away. All right, shark on. Let's see if we can keep this guy on. Shark on! <laughs> it's Michael Magnus with Marky oh. Martin. Oh. What I love is Mark is ever vigilant. He's looking behind the boat for the next shark. <laughs> you know, people go to Africa to hunt the big five. Dangerous game. This is pretty much it right here in the ocean. Here comes our leader. Take a look at this Mako. Look at that. That's an amazing shark. That is what mako fishing is all about, right there. Gonna pop that fly out, and he'll be on his way. It's all catch and release. Look at that, folks. Boom, he's out of here. Finally! Woo! Job well done, my man. Job well done. <laughs> At it. Set, set, set. Rod down, down with the rod. Spin the rod. There you go, dude. Oh. Keep that pressure on him. There's so many things to. I don't even know, but I think just watching him eat and just seeing how they they attack it and then setting and it's not that easy. I mean, you you miss them. You think you have them hooked and. Next thing you know, you know, they're off again. So it's just, it's a great challenge. And they're big fish, they're powerful. Man, I'm gonna go home and strip set a trout right out of the river. I'm gonna have to be careful. <laughs> oh, it's out of the water. Oh, there he is. Let's head up. Came off, beautiful, right at the boat. Got him off, got him in safe, yeah, released. Yeah, fun little fish. That was awesome, man. 30 pounder, 20, 30 pounder. <laughs> Can't believe how strong they are for their <laughs> size, man. So Mark, I've been watching you for the last two days cut bait with a little teeny piece of junk knife. And I'm gonna make fun of you, it's rusty and he's got a hack at it like <laughs> a hatchet. So I've got a little gift for you. Got this at Sportsman's Warehouse. This is a Kershaw knife. Now this is a big, I'm gonna be real careful. Oh now that's this, a knife. This is a knife. That's a knife. This is a big knife for cutting up bait, chopping away. Sweet. You guys can get yours at Sportsman's Warehouse. Thank you, sir. Marky Mark is getting a Kershaw knife from me. I hope you cut up a lot of bait and catch a lot of Makos with that bad boy. Will do. Get yours at Sportsman's Warehouse. <laughs>